Hey guys, my name is Atypical Amy and I'm going to follow an Amanda Stenberg tutorial today. I want to make you aware, right before this video, I went ahead and like shaved my face. I took care of my face just to pretend like, oh yeah, I just um, woke up like this because I'm just that. That skin is glowing. It's effortless. Meanwhile, I had Jack in the Box for the first time in like years for lunch. So like that's where my skin's going. That should fix it, right? Look, the story behind this is that I was looking through the YouTubes as you do and I saw this Vogue video with Thy Queen and I was like, alright, let's watch this. And then I realized how bored I was and that I'm gonna try to replicate it with literally anything I can find in my house that resembles what she's using and doing. So, that's this. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do my box braids. So about the box braids, as you can see I kind of have my box braids going on but I haven't done much to them in a minute as you may see. And so I'm basically just going to try to revamp them so I'm not a disgrace to Amanda and everything that she stands for. First thing that I'm going to do is plunge my face into the chilly depths of this bowl. I wasn't prepared for that. I'm gonna get the chilling depths of this bowl set up. Alright, just a little update. I went downstairs, I was getting the bowl ready for the ice water, face dip, skincare moment. I saw the only ice cube tray in the fridge. It looked like it was halfway evaporated, lemonaded water that happened to be frozen in this tray. And I personally just didn't want to put that on my face. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run the coldest water I can get. Cold water. I'm really not starting out too good, but I'm very basic with my skincare. I pretty much only use Cerave. Use this one in particular. Cerave. She said hydrating facial cleanser. So everything's fine. Look, if you didn't know, not everything is like a Vogue video. You know what I mean? Something that I use like every other day or so, whenever I just feel like I need it, um, is like an exfoliating pad. They look like this. I don't have an exfoliating pad per se, but I have a towel, which I think you use for your face, that I think the texture is enough to exfoliate, so... And I like to exfoliate my lips, it makes them soft. And that was my cat meowing in the background. My cat's currently eating, so he won't be bothering us. But he's made other features in my videos. <laughs> Oh, that was just my dad. He's just using a different bathroom because I'm filming for this video. I love Biore pore strips because I love to see what's coming out of my nose. As far as I know, I don't have any pore strips laying around. A little trick I found out kind of in middle school for these things is just using glue, like Elmer's glue, and you get to see the little gunk. Fortunately, I'm a little bit better than my middle school self, but a little bit lower than I should probably treat myself. So I have one of the cheapest <laughs> facial mask, peel off mask things that you can have. And this sounds cucumber. And I'm just gonna put that on my nose. Oh no. <laughs> you know, it's not the same type of cute, but like, it's cute. That looks painful. I think mine's gonna be like mild. So I will continue on my basic journey, <laughs> which includes Cerave Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Alright, after this dries, I'm gonna use the Nivea Cream Lotion because I feel like it's super hydrating. So it's probably the closest I have of what she's using in my house. So that's my skincare routine. It is very basic. I'm very excited to get it. into the box braids. Alright, so we're getting into the box braids. For this thing, I'm gonna kind of just do my own thing and not follow anything because my hair isn't exactly re-box braidable. I mean, I could. It would just be so much because I just did this not that long ago, but like long enough ago that it looks like this. So, I'm gonna try to revamp this just a little bit just so it looks better. My hair grows super fast. Like, look at these roots. I don't have any mousse or anything. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and boil some water real quick. I also feel this dripping down my face. How's it look? <laughs> Alright, I have water boiling downstairs right now, and I'm just gonna try to trim all that like excess stuff that's frizzy and out. Then I'm gonna dip in the boiling water, add some gel to my edges, and see how that goes. That's my cat. See, wrong timing for the video, Momo. Wrong timing. <laughs> I just love, ooh, tis hot. As you can see, this wasn't exactly the planned part. <laughs> oh, oh, ow. 
It's all very hot. The only reason I'm doing this is because I feel like I saw a comment somewhere on some video say that they do this to like help their hair stay looking a little better. Did I fact check? No. I'm kind of just dipping my hair in some boiling hot water, taking the chance of boiling my hand off. How's your day going? <laughs> all right, and we are revamped-ish. I did it! <laughs> Eight hours later, yeah, it takes forever, so never disrespect. Well, first of all, you shouldn't do it in the first place. But especially now that you know that fact, if you didn't know it before, never disrespect a woman wearing braids. It is a hard task. It took a million hours, uh, but here we are. Yep. Proud as hell these parts. I think that we both like to kind of mess with our hair. It's so fun. Like, she gets it. I get it. So funny thing is, I kind of mix a gray that is similar to her hair color within this, like, within all of my blonde strands. And then I also mix the blonde color that she has and her and my natural hair blonde color. And that's essentially what this braid is. So technically, I'm not that far off. Now, the sectioning is different, but, like, that's okay. All right, I'll let it dry a bit. In the profile picture it looks like she's doing like a half up half down so I'm gonna do that all right I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off oh it doesn't seem like it got much though I got my nose ring that's for sure oh that's weird it's either my pores are good or that this didn't do much but we did it like I said I'm gonna use the Nivea moisturizer all right, I feel like the skin is at the same reflectiveness. So I'm gonna start with my milk stick as well, but it's gonna be the blur stick, not the foundation stick. Here's why. Because it's the only milk product I have, and she uses a bunch of milk products in this video, so I figured why not. Okay, I'm gonna start with uh, my milk stick. Sometimes I'll use two colors. Like a lighter one, a darker one. Okay, so I don't have the milk makeup skin tint, but I have the glossy skin tint. And she put that all underneath her eye and on the sides of her mouth, so. This is where my face is now. That's where her face is. Just so we're at an even playing field, I'm gonna pretend like my skin has like no blemishes like hers for a second. And I'm just gonna use this Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer and color corrector. Any big scars, kind of like a lot of the ones I have over here, I'm just gonna cover up with this and blend it in with my finger. But first, we must sharpen. Not everybody likes to look like a glazed donut, but that's my vibe. It is very much my vibe too. I'm using this like natural minerals uh, eyeliner right now. Alright, I'm just taking the Sephora eyeliner <laughs> right now. It's in blue. Alright, she made it look like it blends super easy. I'm using a different thing, so maybe it's just that. Every time I blend it with my finger, it like goes away. I'm using this little compact brush that's used to like blend out smoky eyes. This alone wasn't working, so I'm combining it with this Sephora. It's supposed to be like a smoky eye stick, like an easy smoky eye stick. Also comes with like a gray pencil on the other side, so I'm gonna just add that as well. All right, it's not identical, but we're getting there. <laughs> it seems like it was just like one super easy step for her and I'm like blending for my life. I found it easier to use this thing and just try to smudge it out with my finger. I'm assuming the warmth of my hands kind of melts it a little more and helps it blend. So that's good to know. I tried cleaning it up a bit, and I can't exactly tell how good it is. As I've gotten older, like, my relationship with makeup has shifted, and, and like, to, depending on how I'm feeling in my body, like, how often I'm having to wear it for work, like, I feel like I have a relationship with it now that feels way less about, like, covering up flaws or, or like, insecurities around myself, but more just about, like, having fun. I totally agree with that, because I feel like I started going going with no makeup at all I just didn't wear makeup for a while or I'll do like a really fun loud like colorful look bedazzled look glittery look or I'll just do a natural look it's rare that I just like beating my face for because I don't feel pretty it's I'm beating my face because it's fun so I feel like yeah totally Munch it all over my eye 
And then I go back and like re-highlight the lash line. So this is where I actually go with like my eyeliner, I feel like. Did I do it? After I do that little smoky eye vibe, I clean it up a little bit with a concealer, so. Um, using this milk one. Instead of the milk concealer, I know that the Glossier concealer is probably going to be the closest concealer I have. It looks like she just put it on her forehead and right underneath her eye. I'm going to put a little more of a fuller coverage on the inside of my eye so it looks a little brighter because her face is naturally a little brighter. So <laughs> taking the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Golden. I don't know, she puts them on her forehead too, so. I actually am feeling kind of like, all right, let's go with this energy now. So I'm gonna use my other milk stick, which is in a darker shade, and apply it to my cheekbone. I feel like I've never actually gotten a real contour stick, so I'm just gonna use this really old, dusty one from a long time ago, and a lipstick that I like to use as a substitute for a contour, or like a natural looking contour. I'm telling you, I don't know what this stuff is gonna do, but it's a contour. Hey, I'm trying to stick true to my following of the tutorial. My boyfriend's also on his way over, so I gotta hurry this up. Boy can drive fast. Because at this part of the video, you can really just see like the difference in her cheeks, and I want you to feel that same thing. So I'm about to use this concealer to clean that up a little bit. So I'm trying to give you a little some some. A little some some. And then, okay, I'm gonna get it to brows. Sunny's Life Brow. It has this brush that is like really fine. And if you can see it. The closest thing I have to that is the boy brow. And my boyfriend's here. I don't know exactly what to do. I shaved off the ends of my eyebrows because of goddamn TikTok. <laughs> so, um, I have a different eyebrow shape than usual, but honestly, Loving it. Absolutely loving it. If we really are trying to replicate that TikTok up hoodie boxy eye to go with eyebrow, I'm gonna go ahead and try to make my eyebrow look a little bit straighter. This is me, once again, making it look straight. I'm taking glossy brow flick and just making my eyebrows look more like eyebrows that are like her eyebrows. These are too much. I don't know. I like to take eco gel and put it on my eyebrows. I'm gonna go get the eco styler gel from my bedroom where my boyfriend is just waiting for me to finish filming. <laughs> All right, the struggling eco styler. I'm about to take my brush. <laughs> you got a brush that you think is funny. I just found this other one where I'm like, will it work? So I'm about to do it. This is legitimately the brush. Um, I'm just kind of curious on what will happen. It works. It works. Hey, how do I take in this information? <laughs> Keep going. I swear this has never been used before and the first thing it's used for is my eyebrow. So how does that feel? What the hell <laughs> is he doing? <laughs> Is that working? I don't know. Alright, we're gonna use an actual eyebrow brush because I need some control. This is just a um, really basic uh, workout. This is a milk holographic stick. I don't have any like stick highlighter right now and the one I have is so bad it's so out. I have a Glossier Halo Scope stick that is so out but we're gonna try. Yeah. <laughs> I was doing that exact same thing. I like to moisturize my lips. With baby lips. <laughs> you said that's so cute but yes. <laughs> Why is this this pointy? Uh, Orange baby lips. This is in color O orange. I think I'm gonna use this really red one and do like a Korean inspired lip. Ooh. Which sounds a lot fancier than it is. So I'm gonna try to use that same red lipstick I used on my cheeks to do the Korean inspired lip and put that on the center. I'm feeling myself. I feel like the inner glow, it's nothing too much. I like it. This is definitely going to be like a new thing for me. I think I'm actually going to 
make myself a little blushy. Okay, so we're going back in with the lipstick that we just took, and we gonna try to. Half up, half down situation. Okay, to put it half up, half down like I did. So we're gonna redo that. I did like a little, like it's kind of like I did, <laughs> basically like that. And yeah, for the final look. What do you guys see next video?